Struggling with your iPhone's black screen of death? You're not alone, and there's no need to panic. Today, I'm breaking down simple, effective steps to revive your iPhone and prevent future scares. Let's get your screen back to life right now. Let's start by ruling out a battery issue. Plug your iPhone into its original charger, or a certified one, and let it charge for about 30 minutes. Watch for any signs of life, like a charging icon or screen flicker. Seeing these can be a good sign. If there's no change, don't worry. We have more tricks to try. A force restart might be the solution if your iPhone's screen is still unresponsive. This can help clear out minor software glitches. For iPhone 6s and earlier, hold down both the home button and the top, or side button, simultaneously. Release when the Apple logo appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, simultaneously, press and hold the side button and the volume down button. Release both when the Apple logo becomes visible. For iPhone 8 and newer models, quickly press and release the volume up button. Follow it with a quick press and release of the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo displays. Performing this action will restart your device, potentially fixing any software-related issues that could be causing the black screen. If the force restart didn't bring your iPhone back to life, using an iOS repair tool like Rayboot could be your next step. This powerful tool can fix over 150 iOS system issues without any data loss. Visit Tenorshare.com on your computer, which can be either a Windows or Mac. Download and install Ryboot. Plug your iPhone into your computer using the original USB cable. If your iPhone isn't automatically detected, Ryboot will guide you on how to connect it manually. You may need to follow steps to enter recovery mode by pressing the volume up, volume down, and side buttons in sequence. Once your device is detected and in recovery mode, click on the Standard Repair button. Ryboot will automatically match and download the latest firmware needed for the repair. After downloading, hit the Start Standard Repair button. The process usually takes about 10 minutes. Once it's done, your iPhone will restart and should return to normal operation. If your iPhone is still facing issues, restoring it via iTunes might be necessary. This is a more drastic measure, as it will erase all data on your device. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer. Open iTunes and connect your iPhone using the USB cable. To put your iPhone into recovery mode, quickly press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and finally hold the side button until you see the iTunes logo and cable on your iPhone screen. On your computer, iTunes will detect an iPhone in recovery mode and prompt you with the option to restore or update. Click Restore to wipe all data and reinstall iOS. iTunes will download the software and complete the restore process. After the restore, your iPhone will restart. You can then set it up as new or restore from a backup if you have one available. Remember, restoring your iPhone via iTunes can resolve many issues but it also means all data on the device will be erased. That's it for the video. I hope these steps helped you solve the issue with your iPhone's black screen of death. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful tech tips. Also, if you have any questions or additional tips that worked for you, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.